another thing that comes up often in my conversations with people about dignity is, well, what do you do when somebody has repeatedly violated your dignity? Let's say we're in the workplace, right? Let's say and we have a boss who is um, constantly violating the dignity of his or her um, supervisees or his, their direct report. What happens? Um, how, why does the relationship break down? Well, it breaks down obviously because people have felt insulted or people have felt um, dismissed or diminished in some way by, by the boss. And the first thing that goes when that happens is trust. And this is, uh, honestly, every single time uh, I give a talk about this, people ask this question. How do you rebuild the trust when, when people have had their dignity violated so, so, um, so many times? And you know, I can't stress uh, enough how when you're trying to create a culture of dignity in a, in a workplace where the um, you know, people are feeling violations and they don't have a voice to speak up. I mean, this is part of the problem of trying to rebuild the trust because it's one thing to say to your colleague, you know what, you just violated my dignity, right? It's one thing, or to your partner or your friends. But if you've got a boss and you don't feel uh, safe enough to speak up to him or to her when, you, when, um, when, you know, when you've been violated, well, again, trust is the first thing that goes out the door. And so rebuilding it with someone who is in an authority position over you is extremely hard. So I always work with the bosses, work, work with the people who are in positions of authority and say, look, you have to make it safe for people to talk to you about ways in which you're probably unaware of. Because here's the other thing I want to be really clear about this is that people in posi positions of power I don't think they're bad people who want to deliberately hurt people and have their trust shattered. I think what happens is they're just not aware of it. And so what I say to people always is to, again, people in positions of power, understand that this is part of the human experience, that we all have blind spots. And you need to make it safe for people to talk about it. Otherwise, there's no way of rebuilding the trust. And the paradox here is that when a boss says to his or her employees, look, I want you to tell me. I want you to be, you know, feel free enough to come to me and talk to me about these dignity violations if I ever commit them. Um, that relationship becomes so strong. So it's the opposite of what a leader might worry about, like, oh, I'm going to look weak if I ask for this. It's really astonishing how paradoxically making yourself vulnerable with all the power that you have making yourself vulnerable really um, strengthens the, the relationships with, with the people around you.